<laughs> Welcome back, Alex. Uh, you know, you had a real decision to make because, you know, like you could have gone to the NFL, you could have gone to the Senior Bowl and played, and you would have had a spot on some NFL roster next year. So what was this process like for you? I'm sure it wasn't an easy decision to make. It was a long decision, but, you know, after making the decision, I'm confident I made the right decision because I love, you know, I love UCF, love Night Nation. So, you know, coming back is definitely where I need to be and what I need to be doing this next year. You were a finalist for Long Snapper of the Year. What do you think you have to improve on or do better or, or whatever the, you know, however they meet, who's going who's gonna to be the Long Snapper of the Year? What do you think you have to improve on next year to, you know, be, to win that award? Um, I mean, being a long snapper, there's no ceiling. Like, I can't go perfect on field goals or anything. So I can improve everything. Snapping, you know, speed, accuracy, blocking, speed, you know, violence in my hands, coverage ability, anything you can think of that I do, I can improve on. There's no ceiling. What's the most important thing for you in terms of coming back academically? Are you picking up another degree or what are you trying to do? I just graduated with my mechanical engineering degree and I'm coming back for a second degree. So I'm starting over as a freshman in integrated business to work my way into an MBA in one day. So Alex, deciding to come back, I mean, what's important to you to kind of finish off everything in 2022? What do you want to try to accomplish in your final year? I, mean, I think they said it earlier, but I mean, I came in in 2017, 125 straight, and but you know, unlike Sam and Montavo, I was backed up long snapper at the time. I didn't play, and so I want to get to you know, run the table this year, being a you know, a leader on the team, being a prominent player, you know, not just the guy on the sideline that's you know, there winning a lot of games. I think fans know about you and know who you are, but. What is it about long snapper it's, that's so difficult of a position to play and, and you know, maybe we shouldn't be, and the fact that we're talking to you for the first time maybe says something about what you've done on the field, I guess. Yeah, I mean, long snapper is best done when nobody knows who you are <laughs> because, I mean, that's my job is to make sure that it's caught every time. And it's, so unless I mess up, you shouldn't know me unless, I don't know, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know how I got recognized. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't do anything wrong, but <laughs> yeah, just, I don't know. What's your best moment at UCF? It's so hard. I, I put beat Florida right up with it. Um, I had a ton of game, or a ton of fun in the Boise game. You know, the rain delay and going out and coming in because specialists go out to warm up before anybody else. And so we were out on the field like three different times and I never played. So that was a lot of fun. And then uh, 2017 USF game when Mike Hughes ran the touch the, the kickoff back, I went viral after for my huge afro and running like a madman on the sideline. Recovered the fumble in Memphis. I mean, there's just so many, so many things I could list. The you know, conference championship 17 and 18 comebacks, you know, overtimes. Yeah, it's I couldn't I couldn't name one. I think I had to name like seven. So. Did you, were you a long snapper in high school? Like, how did you get into long snapping, I guess? Um, I tried out my seventh grade year in, when we had middle school football in North Florida for both long snapper and punter. And I was the center at the time, too. So they said, we need you to be a, set, a long snapper, not the punter. And so then I snapped seventh, eighth grade, and then picked it back up in high school. And they moved me, high school moved me from center to tight end the end. Uh, so I played three positions in high school and came here as just a long time. Alex, uh, going up to Chicago and being a finalist for the Manly Award, what was that like? What was that experience like? You got to, I'm sure you got to meet a lot of people, maybe people who've done it in the pros. So what was that whole weekend like for you? Absolutely unbelievable experience because, uh, you know, it's the Patrick Manley Award and Patrick Manley was there the entire time. You know, a guy I look up to and he just comes strolling in in street clothes and I'm like, that's a big dude right there. He's he's six five, every bit of two sixty, and so uh, you know, being with him, super cool dude. And then we went out to dinner with uh, the finalists and the founders of the award, and Pat Scales, the current snapper for the uh, for the Bears, and, and we're all long snappers. And so it was, we were sharing long snapper stories all night, like you know, what's the scariest thing that happened to you pre snap or stuff like that. 
like it was unbelievable experience that I hope to repeat this next year. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.